Hi there. So in this video, we will see how to use SQLite database with Node.js. So make sure that you have Node.js installed on your computer. And now open one text editor, save the file with name sample.js. Now type in var SQLite three equals to, here we will call for SQLite module. And set the mode to verbose. Now, the next thing we should do is create one variable named db and create new SQLite 3 database instance. Name it, let's say, abcd2. Okay, now after that, we will also serialize our database. Here we will create one function okay and now we will simply use db.run and here we will create table let's name it user and inside that we will have ID as integer with let's say variable name DT as text okay now the next thing after that is creating statement name it var stmt equals to db dot prepare here we make prepare statement insert into user where values are going to be created with let's say for loop so that we can see how it goes so here value variable i equals to zero then i is less than 10 and then i plus plus Okay, here we will create d equals to new date and we will pass that into dt. So where n equals to, let's say, d dot to locate time string. Okay, now once you have that, you can simply go ahead and call for stmt dot finalize. So that we can simply run the code okay the next thing we are going to do is we are going to call db dot each and here we will use select statement and select id and dt from user okay and then we will check the function or error and row also we will print out the content simply by going to user ID and here we will use <coughs> row dot ID and row dot DT So we will simply disclose this and also db dot close. Okay. Now we can go through the code. I will pause the video so that I have also reduce the spacing so that it fits into the window properly okay so make sure you have saved the document now open your command prompt and type in node sample.js hit enter so that it will take some time and show you the content of the database
okay so total 10 users are created due to this for loop here and also the time span uh, time stamp is given here along with user id which is just numeric number so we did that with this for loop we created 0 to 9 total so the, those total 10 values along with the timestamp gets added within our query so when we say insert into user with values these value i and n gets placed and with statement finalized they are merged into our database and with select query we are just getting that data from the database and display it on console so this was a short video on how to use node.js with sqlite 3 database so you can pause the video and go through the code